We are part, I'm Andrus, co-founder of Pop. this is my co-founder Waco. We are part of the Estonian Mafia and we joined Seedcamp family in January this year. So, why would anybody want a set-top box in a cloud? Life used to be simple. We had one box and, as Bruce Springsteen sang, 57 channels and nothing on. It's more colorful now, the screen has grown in size, and even more has grown the variety and the amount of content we can and want to watch. And complexity of getting this content onto the screen has grown. So we have set-top boxes, media centers, TV apps, cables, wireless. So we very much fall back to our old habit of switching on the television on the channel we switched it off last night and clicking around trying to find something worthy of our time. And television keeps acting as a little dictator, giving us a little choice and fixing us to one physical space. That's where our set of boxes. So, Pult will bring back simplicity and gives you freedom to access your content anywhere, anytime. We provide access to a wide variety of content. This could be your videos or pictures from, uh, from internet services like Facebook or YouTube. This could be your pay TV channels. This could be your VOD content from services like Netflix or LaFell. So we are operating as Flipboard for your multimedia content, effectively solving this 57 channel and nothing on problem. Could you imagine being carrying all that in your pocket? And actually you can. You can walk to any connected screen anywhere in the world. Make this screen yours and start streaming to that screen. But enough of the words, we would love to do a live demo now because this has proved to be magical. Everybody who has seen it loved this. So, just an introduction, Pult is a web app, so you can use it today. In order to use it, you have to take your connected TV browser to pult.io. And ta-da, this is the future of the television. At some point when you switch on the TV set, this is the screen you're gonna see. Uh, the remote control of Pult is a web app as well. In order to use it, you have to take your uh, browser on your smartphone or any, any, any other iDevice to a pop.io. So what Waco is doing now, he's entering this four character code into the remote control, eff effectively pairing these two devices. So we can browse his content on the remote control and send anything from there seamlessly to the screen, being, 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 being streamed from the cloud. Well, can we? Thank you. Yeah. yeah, the kitten videos always work. <laughs> can, can, can we switch back to the presentation, please? <laughs> well, what? <laughs> okay. So, as you saw, it's really easy. You connect to the screen, you browse your content, you send it to the screen, one, two, three. And for those for folks on the back rows who didn't see what happened on the iPad screen, please come to us later. We, we would love to do your live demo. <coughs> so, we are revolutionizing a market which is notoriously hard to change. Even Apple is having problems cracking this market now. So some of you might think, how would a startup like Pult completely change the habit how people use the television and get access to commercial content? We think that market forces are helping us here. And now actually I borrowed a line from Brandit's yesterday's presentation. Thank you guys for letting me do that. Because this just fits here very well. So say hello to my little friend. <laughs> 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 so
So Phil is perfect example of a demographics which is not reachable for Batesville operators today. He's under 30, living in a rental space. He does have a smartphone. He does have a computer. He does have a broadband connection. He doesn't have a pay TV connection, right? So his computer screen has effectively become his first screen, not his, not his second screen. And people like Phil, 7% of the pay TV, con uh, pay TV contracts were broken last year just by people like Phil. Pulp is only way for traditional pay TV operators to access that demographic group. We can actually make us even more sexy for pay TV operators. Because by effectively virtualizing set of box in the cloud, we are taking away huge hardware cost. So we're literally saving them billions of US dollars on customer facing hardware and related services. So I think these two things would make us sexy enough for these guys to talk to us. In fact, we are actually talking to one large US based operator already. The business deal is very simple. We offer part to them as a semi white label service. We get a license fee and recurring per user fee. But there is even more potential. As we are profiling the customers, we are effectively seeing what the customers are watching. Then this is very valuable data that can solve back to the broadcasters. As we are con controlling the two screens, the large screen and the small screen, then actually we can synchronize the content between these. And if there is an ad spot on a large screen, we can push a interactive ad spot on the small screen. And of course, we can build a completely independent content store based on Pulp. So it's all brought to you by four founders. Tarko, our network engineer, has been building the core network for Telia Sonera in Estonia for 11 years. He's been supporting the networking operations of Telia Sonera worldwide, one of the key persons. Remo has built IPTV business, has, has been running this for Telia Sonera for nine years in Estonia. Fika has more 14 years of experience in research and development and design roles in banking and telecom sector. And I myself, I co-founded and was a CEO of the largest Baltic internet media company, which was acquired in 2007 for 54 million euros. And we are advised by vice president of Sony Digital. This year has been transformational. So we started it with the barely working prototype We've been through the US trip. We received our seed camp investment in May. And during the summer, we built this prototype into a platform. So, Pulp is available today. We launched Pulp Public Pizza this week. Of course, the next steps are gaining user traction, talking to content owners, both commercial and free, in order to grow the amount of content through the partnerships. Uh, and then, of course, by 2018, world domination. <laughs> yeah. Uh, TV is the most important medium. Uh, we are in a journey to take it to the next level. So if you want to join us, please come talk to us because we are fundraising. Thank you.